our questions of MS203 Microsoft 365 Messaging Administrator Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. To get the complete list of questions and answers, click on the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, you manage a hybrid deployment between Microsoft Exchange Online and On-Premises Exchange Server 2019. The deployment contains a primary SMTP domain named Contoso.com. Users have email addresses that uses a syntax of first name dot last name at the rate Contoso.com. A user named Ben Smith receives a new client computer. You configure the computer to access Ben Smith's mailbox. Ben Smith reports that he cannot connect to his mailbox from the new computer. You verify that other users can connect successfully to their mailbox and the new users can discover their mailbox by using auto discover. You need to ensure Ben Smith can connect to his mailbox from the new computer. What should you use? Option A. Modify the primary SMTP address property Fox the email policy of Ben Smith. Option B. Modify the remote routing address parameter from the mailbox of Ben Smith. Option C. Modify the email address of Ben Smith to use the syntax of lastname.firstname at the rate contoso.com. Option D. Modify the email address of Ben Smith to use the syntax of first name dot last name at the rate contoso dot on Microsoft dot com. The correct answer is option B. Our next question. You have a Microsoft Exchange online tenant that contains 1000 user mailbox and 10 mail enabled users. The mail enabled users have email addresses in two SMTP domains named Fabricant.com and Contoso.com. You need to convert the mail enabled users user into, uh, into user mailboxes. What should you do first? Option A. Remove the remote domains of Fabricant.com and Contoso.com. Option B. Assign a license to each user. Option C. Add the user to an Office 365 group. Option D. Modify the email forwarding setting of each user. The correct answer is Option A. And next one. You have 1000 user accounts that are each licensed for Microsoft 365. Each user account has a Microsoft Exchange online mailbox. 10 of the user accounts are configured as service account for application. The application send event notification to the mailboxes of the service account by using SMTP. The developers of each application have delegated access to the mailbox of their respective application. You need to ensure that all the event notifications sent by application are retained in the service account mailboxes so that the developers can review order notifications. The developer must be able to view only the notification for their respective application. The solution must minimize licensing cost. What should you do? Option A. Replace the service account mailboxes with a single user mailbox that contains journal rules. Option B. Replace the service account mailbox with a mail enabled group. Option C. Convert the service account mailboxes into shared mailboxes. Option D. Convert the service account mailboxes into mail enabled users. The correct answer is option C. The next one. All the users in your company have Microsoft 365 mailboxes. Each user connects to Microsoft Exchange online and one drive for business from a personal computer that runs Windows 10. 
you need to ensure that users can save attachment to OneDrive for business only when they connect to their mailbox from the Outlook on a web. What should you create? Option A, an Exchange Active Sync Device Access Rule. Option B, an App Protection Policy in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Option C, an Outlook Web App Policy in Exchange Online. Option D, a Device Compliance Policy in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. The correct answer is Option B.